God have two kinds of weeks. Seven days of week and seven years of week. Have you heard about it before? Now, if you want to hear about it, go and read the book of Daniel. When Daniel was working on seven days of week, an angel came to him and said, no, it is seven times seven years. Seven times seven years, which means seven years times seven years. That was the prophecy. But then they thought that it was seven weeks, seven days, seven weeks times seven weeks. And then they said, no, it is seven years, seven years of week times seven years. And when they multiply it, it was a long time. The calendar of the Greek or Hebrew shows you that they have seven days of week and seven years of week. And when God wants to punish at any time, he doesn't punish by seven days of week. He did it only once in the time of Moses and his sister, Miriam. Are we here? When God said that Moses should allow Miriam to suffer for seven days because of what she did. And after the seven days, Miriam was healed. The Bible said it was the judgment of God that they should suffer for seven days. Here, yeah. sometimes prayer doesn't break it. Except you go into the time and place of intimacy where you rebuild your relationship with God and you come into a new relationship where God will no longer see the records of the past. Praise God. So I said to you tonight, every judgment of seven days of punishment by reason of your yesterday mistake, God's mercy shall speak against this tonight. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, they do not labor to, for harvest. Okay? They do not hide to labor. Listen. They don't hide to labor. But during the harvest, they will go and look for mountain. They will go and look for holes. They will go and look for um, caves. They go and look for caves. And they will now gather the harvest of their weeds, tie it in a nylon, and put it there. So that the media not will see it. And during this time, Gideon was a very wise man. He will not cut a palm tree. You know, in a palm tree, that's what they call a wine press. That is where the wine, the palm wine, comes out from the heart of the palm tree. So he will not remove the heart of the palm tree as a whole. Okay? And when the Midianites say they were thought it's just a lion pantry, they will store the wheat there. And God saw his wisdom. God saw his wisdom. That was why God went for him. He said, okay, this man has enough wisdom to deliver this people from the Midianites. And that was towards the end of the seven years. God raised a deliverer. Everything your family has passed through in the passing seven years, the Lord shall raise you up as a deliverer. In the name of Jesus. Whatsoever your life has suffered in the past seven years, I declare an end to it in the name of Jesus. What is, what is the New Testament media night? Don't worry, you will hear about midnight during the 21 days fasting. We will teach about them for three days. And you will pray them out of your life. John chapter 10 and verse 10. John chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not. So who is a midnight? Who is a thief? A thief is a Midianite. And the Midianite is a thief. And the thief and Midianite is anyone who wants to eat where he did not labor. 
Did you get the definition? The New Testament media night is John 10 10. The thief cometh not bed for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Those are the threefold ministry of a thief. It comes to take your values. It comes to frustrate you and get you retired for your pursuit. It comes to disenfranchise you and show you how empty you are and how impossible what you are thinking is. That's a thief. A thief comes with the spirit of discouragement. It weakens your strength. It blinds your mind. That you just look blank. You know what it means to look blank. You remember nothing. You think nothing. You are just blank. Are we here? Sometimes you are hardly happy. It comes to steal your joy. Because you know that once you are happy and joyful, it's a moment of time. Praise God. With joy shall I draw water from the west of salvation. I said to ever stray. So it comes to steal your joy and give you reasons why you must not be happy. Sometimes it comes and so spirit of rejection. You reject yourself, you disbelieve yourself, and many people reject you. Anyone that rejects himself will definitely be rejected. One of the things you must do for yourself is to believe in yourself. Are we here? And to be passionate about your life and see how you can improve. Improve on your values. I have a note there. Great time will not permit me to share with you. I was talking about holding on to your values. Holding on to your values. If there's anything the devil wants to first of all take away from you, he take away your values out of your mind. It makes you look empty. It makes you look as nobody. Can I hear someone say I'm somebody? Shout it like a minute. So when they steal these qualities, the next thing they begin to do is they begin to kill your dreams and your vision. You know, sometimes we have tied this into materialism. But I want to go into spiritual. You will become spiritually powerless. All your dreams will die. You don't wake up remembering anything. The only thing you wake up remembering is another problem. And then they cannot launch you into your history. How you were born. What went wrong with you were born. How this happened and how this happened. There's no one you're seeing in life today that don't have a problem. But every one of us must be able to know that we are born as a solution. You don't see the problem behind how you were born. But you see your problem. You see yourself born to solve a problem. I am born to fulfill a purpose. And the purpose is to impart my world. Are we here? And that begins to take you to your dreams. What can I do to impart my world? What can I do to add to my world? Come on, are we here? Now, once you steal those elemental qualities, the next thing is start killing your dream, killing your vision. And then you begin to feel that everything in life is against you. No. Media might is fighting you. The devil is the present dispensation media night. Are we here? If you labor today like a farmer, and at the end of the time you're supposed to say thank God for harvest, and the enemy came and wasted your harvest, will you try to labor next year? You feel that the environment is unsafe for you. The next thing you want to jump back. You know that's what is running now. Japa, well, you want Japa? Want Japa? So don't Japa now. They want to Japa back. Praise God. You can Japa, but don't be frustrated out. It could be 
a strategic arrangement of God. Praise God. That you jabber into a dream and into a purpose. Are you see here? And then what does he destroy? He destroyed the corridors of opportunities. Dreams are given to create opportunities. Potentials are given to create opportunities. When he destroys your dreams, I mean when he, when he kills your dream and kills your vision, he destroys your corridors of opportunities. Are we here? You will not feel that there's nothing for you where you are. There's nothing for you where you are. But the Bible says, occupy until I come. There's nowhere you are that God is not aware. And whatever that belongs to you, we meet to where God has permitted you to be. Come on, are we here? That's exactly what I want you to get at tonight. Now, how do we, how do we become, how do we become saved from the threat of Midianite? We become saved from the threat of Midianite by launching into the new covenant. You remember what I told you on Sunday? On Sunday, I told you about the, the covenant blessings. Ten covenant blessings. When I was talking about Isaiah 59 verse 21. Isaiah 59 verse 21. The Bible says about, you must remember that my covenant is with you. Are we here? And that means, you must know and remember that the hand of God is upon you. Covenant is just a partnership with God. Isaiah 59, 21. 59, 21. Praise God. Can I have Isaiah 59, 21? As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, said the Lord, from henceforth and forevermore. Now, what we're trying to get at from here is that when you sin, you break the covenant. The Bible said that he that breaketh the hedge, serpent shall bite. But the Bible also said in Proverbs 18.10 that the name of the Lord is a strong, the righteous. So when you repent, you become righteous. You run back into the covenant. Covenant of God is in Christ Jesus. And God has given him a name. That is what? That name is dominion. The name Jesus is dominion. So that is a strong tower. That is the covenant seal. That is where the righteous have to run into. Are we here? You know, he said to Abraham, like I said on Sunday, as for me, my covenant is with thee. Though you are breaking it, I have not forgotten, I have not given up on the covenant. But you see, you have to repent and circumcise your heart. Because your mind is not committed to the covenant. You don't worship God without your mind. Are you here? You don't pray without your mind. You don't study the word of God without your mind. You don't pay your offering, your tithe, without your mind involved. You must become conscious of your work with God. My covenant is with you. In my covenant is the spirit of the covenant. The spirit of the covenant. 
Okay, the spirit began the spirit, the deep call it into the deep. Once there's a relationship between you and God, there will be a spiritual connection between you and God, and God automatically will begin to do what is essential. Praise God. And then the Bible said, There's a word of the covenant put in the promises of God. God only permitted the Midianite for seven years, He did not permit them to hold the Israelites after the seven years because God knows that in seven years of suffering, they will realize their mistakes and they will return back. Only a fool will be suffering without knowing why he's suffering. The God we serve is not a wicked God. God has what it takes to come to our help and to come to our aid. Now, Jesus is the seal of the new covenant. When you receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, you have access to the authority in his name. And when you have access to the authority in his name, you now have power to buy, power to lose, and power to conquer. Come on, are we here? No wonder Paul said, for I am persuaded, Romans chapter 8 from verse 35, that neither death, nor life, nor this, present or things to come nor deep nor height can be able to separate me from the love of god so you hold on to god no matter the cost you hold on to god no matter what you're experiencing you just have the consciousness that god is there why did i talk about media night tonight i had a dream when god visited a family and the family organized for a very big thanksgiving at another time, God showed me another dream. Maybe another seven years. Praise God. And then I saw that a family was blessed and there was a whistleblower. And then robbers attacked the family. And the question was, why is attacking them? This time they have waited for a long time. And they just get a breakthrough. And then we posted on our platform today. God is visiting our family to bless us. God is also going to bless, bless us, but we must not blow the whistle so that the enemy doesn't hear what God is doing. Praise God. And I realized that power that could not stop your blessing does not have power to stop the blessing. No Midianite can stop your destiny. No Midianite can stop your life. No Midianite can stop the appointment of God on your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, shall we rise to our feet? I like you tonight to say to God, have mercy upon me. In any form, I have broken the covenant and walk out of the covenant. Lord, I come to say, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Forgive me and deliver me from every shortcomings, from everything that I have done that are contrary to your appointment and your covenant with me. Lord, I beg you by the blood of Jesus Christ to forgive me, to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I've sinned and come short of your glory. But Lord, I ask you, the Bible says, if it is of your mercy that we are not consumed. Lord, remember your word unto me, the Father God Almighty, you, del you will deliver me to the Midianites, but when I repent, you will deliver me. Lord, I ask for my deliverance from the hands of the Midianites. I ask for my deliverance from the powers of the Midianites. I ask for my deliverance from the yoke of the Midianites. I ask for my deliverance from the forces of Midianites. I ask for my deliverance from every wickedness of the Midianites. I ask for my liberation from every wars of the Midianites in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I'd like you to pray and say, God, any decree you have pronounced against me by reasons of my mistakes, by your mercies, 
reverse those decrees in the name of jesus christ can we pray lord and that time you are pronounced upon my life and that time you are permitted upon my life by reasons of my errors by reasons of my mistake lord have mercy upon me and reverse those decrees in the name of jesus father reverse and break the decrees in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray sometimes there are some things we do in life and god will allow an embargo to be placed on our lives i'd like you to pray any embargo embargo is restriction embargo is limitation any embargo placed upon my name placed upon my life placed upon my marriage blood of jesus redeem me from it in the name of jesus lord i pray oh god that any embargo that have been placed upon my life and the embargo that have been placed upon my family and the embargo of god that have been blessed i let the parana gada and the embargo and the embargo that have been blessed oh god upon my name upon my family upon my heart lord i command it to be uprooted in the name of jesus every limitations and restriction that have been placed upon my life lord uprooted i uprooted I approach in Laga Baba 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 Raga Naga Daya. But I let the embargo be lifted. I let the aparama nagada patusaya. In Raga Daga 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 Daya. In Raga Daga 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 Daya. In Parama Nama Nova Sabra Galabadaya. I break the embargo of joblessness. I break the embargo of barrenness. I break the embargo of God Almighty of singleness. I break the embargo of affliction. I pray the embargo of sickness. I pray the embargo of poverty. I pray the embargo of suffering. I pray the embargo of hardship. And the embargo of God forced on me by reasons of my mistake. Lord, I break that. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. We are going to pray. God permitted the enemy to attack his people for seven years. You see, if you are in America, if you don't have permit, you will not walk. If you are in Nigeria, if you don't have driving license, you are not permitted to drive. If you drive, it's illegal. We are going to pray. Father, any permit any negative permit give it to me tonight open the gates my life and my family by the blood of jesus let it expire let it expire let it expire right now 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 let it expire right now. And I permit. And I tell you permitted. Father, you are what are giving me a new authority. In Christ Jesus, that whatever I bind shall be bad. You meet your eye. I bind you. You meet your eye. I bind you. You meet your eye. I stop you. You meet your eye. I attack you. You attack us on my life. Attack us on my level. I bind you. I attack you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, is a light we are sentenced to seven years suffering. Every satanic sentence of my life to pains and suffering. By the grace of God and the mercies of God and authority of Matthew 18, 18. Oh God, I reverse it by fire 
in the name of Jesus. I return to you. I repair the center. I will not suffer again. I will not suffer again. I repair the center. I repair the sentence of suffering. I repair the sentence of barrenness. I repair the sentence of idleness. I repair the sentence of embargo. I repair the sentence of hardship. And Jesus mighty name we pray. You Midianites. Shout it like an army. Shout it like you mean it. Waiting on the harvest of my labor. In the name of Jesus. Da. Ay, 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 In Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Lift up your hands. In John 10 10, the Bible said that the answer to the Midianite operation, which is the thief of now, is Jesus. He said, The thief cometh, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Listen to me. Everything that has stolen your motivation, things you used to be excited to do, suddenly disappeared. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command it to be restored to your life. In the power that has stolen your dreams, your vision, that you are no longer seeing a future in you. Today, I recover your dreams. I recover your vision. From tonight, your spiritual life is restored. And every corridor that is shortened down your opportunities, that they, they would be telling you, no opportunity for you again. I said, no, the Lord's name is the door. I am the door by me, may, may enter and obtain green pasture. Jesus is the door to your life. Today, your short door shall be restored. 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 Even if that is what the devil comes to do. But Jesus said, I come that they might have life. We are so ever you are searching for your life. Whatsoever is not living in you. Jesus came to give you life. He said, and that thou might have it more abundantly. Lift up your hand. I restore life to your life. I restore life to your hell. I restore life to your body. Life to your spirit. Life to your marriage. Life to your house. Life to your career. Life to your spirit. Abundant lie. Abundant lie. Abundant lie. Abundant lie. No more median eye. Abundant lie. No more median eye. Abundant opportunity. No more median eye. In the name of Jesus. <laughs>